The Lyre River, or the Singing Waters. Can you hear the water strum along downstream? This is how the Lyre River got its name. The musical waters of the river flow north from Lake Crescent and empty into the Strait of Juan de Fuca. Imagine falling asleep beneath the stars, listening to the melodic waters make their way down the ocean coast. And hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Gonna be uploading this video with some Nomad internet. You'll find a link below in the video description. I do wanna at least mention that after we ended my last video, this was not the plan. The plan actually was Eastern Washington. But I got to thinking that uh, I at least needed to go check out, even if it does, I'm not even gonna say the R word, uh, I still need to come out to the Liar River and I'm so glad I did. I've been here, uh, this is my third day, two nights already, and uh, my corner spot is still taken. However, I'm not even bummed. Actually, there's no camp host this year at Liar River, at least yet. I don't know that's because of budget cuts or anything else going on, but the, the old camp host site is no longer a camp host site. It's just a normal site. So sure, I took it. Uh, it's just a normal site. They took down the post. Used to say camp host right here, and now it's just site six, and the power and the water is turned off and locked up. Nice little place to park, and uh, I mean, I'm just as close to the river as I am in my normal corner site where I've done all my intros. So, not too bad. The funny thing is, the weather at this particular spot has never bothered me. Uh, I'm not even shy about telling that you could ask me anywhere in the country, Eric, where's your favorite place to camp? Where's your favorite? I always tell people the Liar River in Washington State. Always. This is just the best. They're, see, they're, they're taking away all these beautiful campsites right along the river, and especially even this state. So I'm surprised this one's still here. But as we pan around, I'll show you. It's a big, huge campsite. I didn't even have to unhook the trailer. So it's like my garage for the motorcycle. Got my old glory flying high there. Got the kitty tent out for the, for the kitties to play. And little cave. Yes, sunshine. Give it, give it, it's just all over me. Okay, Eric. Um, yeah, little cave. I mean, does your campsite have a little cave in here? <laughs> Pretty cool. Not sure if I would actually get comfortable in here because you are gonna have the handicap walkway up there to the beach over there, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, guys, sunshine! Oh! Yes, yes, yes! That's it. Let me get my helmet. We're going for a ride right now. Right now! I'll take it. No rain. Got me an order in here at the Blackberry Cafe. Famous for their burgers here in Joyce, Washington. Famous for the none other than the 20 ounce Sasquatch burger. And it is huge. I've had it. How do I describe it? It's a burger the size of a freaking 12 inch pizza and it's ridiculous. It feeds a family of 12. <laughs> Don't need all that, but I do have a burger order in. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, this place is really busy. All the cars out in the front and they got cars in the back and there's a wait to sit down and eat inside or you can just sit outside where it's not, I'm not even gonna use the R word, but it's, it's okay outside. We got a bag of tots and you know, this burger looks kind of smashed, but take a peek. You know, I'm not incredibly impressed as I normally have been here. But let's take a bite. It tastes a lot better than it looks. I'm just saying. So you know. mm -hmm. It was actually a lot better than it looked, but I think they could work on their presentation a little bit here. Looks like it's going downhill a little bit. Man, I'm just happy to ride. Let's go check out uh, Canada. Yeah.
All right, a little tight squeeze here though. They don't want you bringing motorcycles or anything else through here, except bicycles and yourself. I hear a crick or Sasquatch is peeing. Sam Squanch, you peeing? By the way, future plans? Um, <laughs> constantly changing. I don't like to plan anything guys, so I will just let you know right now that I literally have no idea where I will be in my next videos this summer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even know for sure where I'll be for the 4th of July or anything yet, so I'm literally just going to fly by the seat of my pants and uh, okay this is beautiful. Off in the distance here, see that clearing right there? To you it probably just looks like sky. Uh, that's salt water guys. That is salt water. But yeah, anyway, to anyone I said I was gonna make plans with or promised to be somewhere for the 4th of July, I don't know. Anything could change. I am a very spontaneous person and I will now be constantly looking at weather. Look at the size of this leaf, guys. <gasps> Holy cow. Hey, you think it rains here much? Woo. Oh yeah, the smell is I don't want to say unpleasant. It's not an unpleasant smell. It's just a very unique smell. The beach. So, so remember in my intro when I was reading that sign about the Liar River and how it actually flows north towards the Strait of Juan de Fuca? That's what this is right here. This little body of water. If way out there is going to be the Pacific Ocean, but right here, this is the Strait of Juan de Fuca and that body of land over there is Canada. British Columbia over there. I'll put pin a map right now, show you where I'm standing right now. It's also really, really close to where Liar River Campground is here. Lots of uh, moisture often in, the, in this area. And yeah, this is what the beach looks like. Very rocky, lots of seaweed, lots of pretty dirty water coming in there, but you also got to consider all the rivers that have been flooding and dumping their dirty water here into the strait as well. So, not bad. Good little ride. I feel reset. Awesome. <laughs> but uh, let's go get back to the kitties. Man, that was a good, fun ride. And in case anything else changes with the weather, I can just put the bike in there and uh, it's not going to get wet or dirty or muddy. I will at least show you what's going on over here at my famous site where so many of my intros were filmed over the years. So probably because there is no camp post here this year, that means there's no slips to fill out, like there aren't even any to fill out. There's no enforcement of the rules or anything. This campsite, I'm, I'm unable to use. This is the walking trail where the public can go. But uh, my famous campsite, is being reserved, which you can't do, just an umbrella. So they want to use it next week or next weekend, but nobody can use it till then, even though they're not going to use it. That is against the rules here. It's stated that you have to occupy your site all the time. So, um, man, if I were a host here, I'd throw all that in the dumpster. That's not cool. You're not using it. Let somebody else use it. But actually, I'm okay with it. I think my site's better. This little public walking trail that I'm on that goes here, people are just constantly walking through your campsite anyway. So at least I have some privacy over here. It just would have been really nice to be able to get one more intro shot. It's not why I came here. I came here to fix what was going on in my head with the rain. I said it anyway. Don't! <laughs> You two enjoying your playpen outside? Yeah, you're not fighting right now. Tara's got a fly or something there. I put some toys in there too. They're, they're totally safe, you know? Even if a puppy comes up unleashed, they're in their little safety spot and I can intervene in time. <laughs> yep. Good, good kitties, get those birds. I got the uh, laptop over here with my Rock Pals power in that, so I can edit video here right next to the river. Mm -hmm. Two more days have passed. I didn't film yesterday because uh, it rolled in. H however, I will just mention, I, I understand that that's gonna happen in a place like this. This is literally a rainforest that gets 103 inches of rain per year. 
That's why everything is so incredibly green around here. We're gonna go on one more walk because it's nice, but uh, the rain did scare away. Oh yeah, pretty much all the campers are gone now. So site five next to me is open, which is another great site with a river view right there. There's one day use camper down there and then site four left right there. Whoa, look at this one guys. Look at that. That is creepy. I put my finger next to you. You can see how big that shroom is. I don't know what you call any of these. That's crazy. I love all the strange nature and fungus and everything out here. I might be sharing some stuff that you guys might never get to see. Interesting. Oh, I found another one, guys. I put one of these in my intro also. Creepy crawling caterpillar centipede looking guy. Yeah. He's cool, but he can stay right there and not come in my RV, please. Check out this trail, guys. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, a lot of rain. Wow, so pretty and smelly. Very, very, very smelly in here. Hmm. Okay, wait, here's another weird one. Wow. I wish I knew some of the names of these fungus, but I don't. There's so many different species out here. Oh wow, and then the trail opens up to the water. It's almost like a beach. Mushroom alert. Wow. Don't eat any mushrooms, Eric. Don't do it. This is really pretty though. Look how clear the water is. That's some clear water and it's actually, looks like it's really deep over there. Like you could swim over there in the summer. It is summer, it's just. Since I've been back, there's only been one day that we've hit 70 degrees. Even today with this filtered sunshine, 68 is the high. 68 degrees while the rest of the country is roasting in triple digits. <laughs> I'm cold in my t-shirt and still wearing long pants in June. Yeah. All right, and saying goodbye to the river one more time as we uh, head back into the mysterious jungles of the rainforest. <laughs> it's so cool, guys. If you're watching my channel and you ever find yourself in Northwest, like up in the corner of Northwest Washington, you gotta check out the Liar River Campground. Get yourself a $35 annual Discover Pass at Walmart in the sporting goods section, and then you'll have access to camping at over 100 of these campgrounds in this state all summer for up to seven days at a time. Then you can move to the next one. It's worth it. You know, it is another nice day, Eric. We could get Black Betty back out of the trailer again and go for a ride, but the campground is just so empty right now that um, I think I'd rather just hang out here. It's, it's kind of my, my, my jam. Um, I do have one bar of Nomad Internet out here. One single bar. Not good enough for like streaming services and stuff, but I can definitely, uh, I can check my email and uh, check in on YouTube, Instagram, and Patreon, so I'm happy. Uh, so from the Northwest, guys, hope you guys are staying cool out there in the rest of the country. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's too cold to swim. Can't believe I'm saying that. When are we gonna float the river? Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.